Uh, this matchup, we, we are going to have Trip Machine, Zach Nanoglide mix. Oh boy. And and first time challenge. Of course, Trip Machine's Zach Nanoglide mix, Expert 16, uh, has many patterns where you have to start crossed under or there's a lot of fourth double sets if you don't. Throughout the whole chart, it's very uh, very tricky and technical. Just before the ending, there's a fourth double step at a, at a 16th note. That's really challenging. First time challenge. On the easier end of the 18th, I would say, um, but has a uh, notorious, notoriously long and fast run at the very end. The very end run is so brutal. A couple BPM gimmicks throughout it as well, where it suddenly slows down. Um, there's also a rocket speed up in the middle, where you have to know what the next few arrows are. And with that, um, I am actually going to be stepping away. Actually, I am going to have the one and only Paul Chunka Chunka, Dark Zuza, whatever you want to call him, coming up and taking over for me. So with that, I will see y'all later. Okay, so Harajun and Blue Buster are getting started. Their PBs are incredible on this song. Seven perfects for Blue Buster, 15 for Harajun. Right, how are you doing, Paul? I'm doing great. Mark, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Good. First match was enthralling. What do we got now? We got Blue Buster versus, uh, are they, is this a warm-up? No, nope, this is the first song of the match. All right. This is the first song in the match. The second song is First Time Challenge. What was the second song? Uh, first Time Challenge. First Time Challenge. Oh, all right. That's going to be awesome. Looks like Harajun is ahead by about four right now. Still both be oh, of course. Picking up a miss. Blue Buster. Awesome tech there. I haven't seen anybody actually put switch to left arrows like that. Three hundred combos. Harajun does a two seventy to hit the hit the down arrow with his right foot. Oh, yeah. Mister has uh, picked up a couple misses here. He's down by about fifteen. Oh, yeah. This is such a good tournament pick song. There's so many tricks in this. It is, yeah. You have to be really well versed on it. And, you know, it is, the speed is it's quick enough where you can, if you're practiced on it, you can double step a lot of it. But, you know, you're taking the risk by doing that. Um, Force double step right here at this part of the chart. Yep. Arjun takes it by 19 EX. 21 perfect PFC to 31 and 3 misses. Really, really clean by June there. Alright, we got some fun up next. First time. Let's see that foot speed, guys. Blue Buster with a 995, but. As, as we've seen before, anything can happen. I've noticed hard you pick mirror for this. The uh, the ending run has some candles that I believe they help they go up instead of going down on mirror. So that's easier for some people instead of pulling your feet in to do the candle, you pull your feet out to go up. Yeah.
round 24th no version coming up right here. Blue Buster really trying to get down and put his weight on his feet to hit those. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He's just really staying consistent. He's so well versed. Uh, content warrior, I mean, he's so familiar with really everything. Yeah, he has about a 30 EX lead right now. See if, let's see if they can stay locked in for this, uh, this last little bit of pitch speed here. Will we see an 18 PFC this early in the tournament? And wow. we do! There we go. Absolutely crushed that last run. Amazing. 24 perfect PFC, a new best for Harajun. 39 perfects, four great seven misses from Blue Buster. Not bad for a tournament performance, but unbelievable. Just Fun. casual, casually, Two normal PSC. thing. No you big know. deal. Cold, like not properly warmed up, didn't do it. No, he didn't warm up at all. Before. I mean, I think they, they played a couple songs, oh. and he had a pool earlier, but wow. He's such a monster. He's so good. Unreal. Both players are incredible. But yeah, just pulling an 18 PFC out. Really, really awesome stuff. Before the tournament last week, I sent out a, a survey to ask some of the potential top 16 competitors uh, just about their experience playing DDR, and I have some answers here from Harjun. Uh, he was mentioning for his preparation for the tournament, he really worked on 16s and 17s, working with the visual offset uh, modifier and DDR A3 and using that to the best of his ability. It's funny, I, uh, I asked everybody to tell me a bit about how they started playing and how they were introduced to DDR, and his answer was, I don't remember that because I was too young then. <laughs> I can guarantee he's the only person that answered that way. Yeah. Oh my goodness. First, but he first started playing um, late October 2007, so when he was approximately one year old. No, I don't know. I didn't do the math real quick, Close but enough. he might as well Close have enough. <laughs> as, as far as we've, As far as I can remember, June has... I mean, I feel like he's just been born on the pad, basically. Actually, and that might be around right, because uh, he's he's like about 16 now, right? That was 16 years ago. Yeah. So his, uh, I think his dad had been posting some of the before and after, or just uh, you know, like 10 year ago pictures and comparison pictures yeah. on Twitter recently, and it's 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 amazing to just see his dedication to the game and. Uh, in continuing to rip. He has, a, he has a tradition where he posts a video of him playing Paranoia Revolution Challenge like near his birthday every year for the last four years. I think that's what it And was, you can yeah. see all four of them together and you can just see Harajun like get taller and taller. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's awesome. It, it's really incredible to, to continue to see like the next generation of players come out to these events and, and June being kind of like the leader of that next generation yeah, of players. It's, it's incredible to see.